coming back to my channel. It is Mary here from Layers of Chic. And today we are talking about how to style biker shorts. So biker shorts have been a huge trend since last year and since summer is coming up, biker shorts are a really great piece to incorporate into your wardrobe because they're trendy, they're short, they're a great alternative to regular shorts. So I figured I would kind of challenge myself to see if I could style one pair of biker shorts five different ways. I do want to say that I am on the shorter side, so I'm 5'3", and I always felt like biker shorts only work on taller people, like I would always see them on these really tall, leggy models, so I always kind of felt like I couldn't pull them off, but I decided to give myself this challenge and see what would happen, and I actually ended up with a few outfits that I think are really, really cute, and that are also still flattering on my figure. So these are the biker shorts that I chose, so as you guys can see, they obviously have this really fun graphic print. So the other thing about biker shorts for me is because I'm so feminine, I always felt like biker shorts were a little bit too edgy for me. Um, so this kind of really worked for me because it does have this really fun floral daisy print that I felt like made it a little bit more feminine. And these are from Dolls Kill. They're very, very comfortable as well because they are cotton. One other thing to keep in mind is that all the outfits I show you guys do work with just solid black biker shorts as well, or just any other colored biker shorts that you have. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the first outfit on with the biker shorts. So this is definitely more of a casual look. Because the biker shorts are high-waisted, I decided to go with a crop shirt, but I wanted to make sure that it's more oversized. Since the biker shorts are more tight fitting, I wanted something oversized on top to kind of balance out this look. The top is actually also from Dolls Kill as well, and I chose this one also because it does have the yellow, which does go with the yellow in the biker shorts. And then for my heels, because I am on the shorter side, I did decide to give myself a little bit of height, so I did go with these casual heel heels. And these ones are great because they can be dressed up or dressed down. They almost look like a little bit kind of like a denim heel, so they are a little bit more on the casual side. And I do like that the blue kind of picks up on the blue in the top as well. And then I decided to do a crossbody yellow handbag just to give this look more of a fun, casual vibe. I also really like that it's a circle, which kind of like goes with like the circular situation of the daisy print. And then this daisy print immediately took me to like that retro 70s vibe. So of course I have to go with these oversized sunglasses that are also kind of having that retro vibe. This is a great look just for like a day out in the park, walking around Soho, doing some shopping. It's very comfortable. I feel super comfy in this outfit because it is all cotton here and these shoes are also really comfy and yeah. So this is the second outfit with the biker shorts and this is definitely more of a going out look so I wanted to obviously provide you guys a range of different outfits to show how you can dress up the shorts, dressing them up and then also dressing them down. So this look definitely dresses it up. I feel like this would be a very good look for music festival like Gumbo or Coachella because it is definitely on the flashier side. It's a little bit eccentric in terms of the mix of the different prints and patterns. So basically what I did for this outfit is the start of the show is obviously this sequin blazer and I do love a blazer with biker shorts because I think that it just works proportionally like there's something about an oversized blazer it hits like right above the biker short and I feel like adding a blazer just makes it look more pulled together and also makes the blazer look more cool and edgy. I mean obviously this blazer is really cool and edgy but with the addition of the bedroom short now it's like music festival ready. And then because there is already a lot going on I just went with a simple white t-shirt so any sort of simple white tee that you guys have would work in terms of a going out look. I would just recommend like any sort of statement blazer you have it doesn't have to be like a crazy sequin like this one but like maybe a fun printed one even like a cute floral one would go really nicely and play off of the floral print here but I would definitely recommend more of an oversized blazer that's on the longer side, a little bit of a looser fit rather than something that's like very tight fitting. And then because I decided to go all out, I also went with my sequin handbag that matches the blazer. And then for my heels, I went with these strappy buckle sandals because I really feel like they kind of elongate my legs and elongate my ankles, which is definitely helpful when you are wearing biker shorts. 
So I am loving the way that these look. And these are a little bit more of a neutral color to kind of help balance out everything that's going on in this look. So this is the third look. And one of my favorite ways to style biker shorts is with a long top or with a tunic, especially with like an oversized long white shirt. So biker shorts would actually be super cute with like an oversized men's shirt. I think it's just like so chic, effortless, like unexpected, very like model off duty. Since I did not have an oversized men's shirt, I decided to go with this one that I had in my closet. It's actually one of my favorite shirts of all time because even though it's a white blouse, it has these really cute velvet bow details that I just love. I think it makes this top so much more special and also a little bit more feminine. And so I think it goes really well with these biker shorts because these biker shorts also have a little bit of femininity to them with the fun print. And I also do like that the bows are black, so it does go really well with the biker shorts. So in this outfit, I basically have a black and white theme that I think works very well because the biker shorts are already so trendy and eccentric. I try to keep it a little bit more simple for this look and make it a little bit more sophisticated and streamlined. For my shoes, I went with my favorite loafers from M6. These are basically my go-to loafers. They basically go with everything. Like I've never had an outfit that didn't look good with these loafers. They're just simple black loafers with this really cool heel that I also feel like really fits with the vibe of this top and these shorts. And then I just did a simple like black little bucket bag from American Eagle. And I feel like this look could really work for many occasions because even though it's on the casual side, it still looks very streamlined. So it's very different from the first casual outfit I showed you guys, which is so colorful and so over the top. This one, I think like I could get away with wearing this to a brand meeting. I do feel like this is like a very like chic and sophisticated look, even though it does have the biker shorts. So this is the fourth outfit. And for this one, I have to do a sporty look because obviously biker shorts originate from the cyclists and the bikers. So for this one, I went with a white sports bra and I chose white just because there are a lot of different things going on in this look. And I knew that I wanted to do this really cool red kind of sporty looking varsity jacket. So I purposely chose white for the sports bra so that it kind of balances out the look. And then this varsity sporty jacket is from the Kupos and I absolutely love this jacket. This is not something that I would say that I would typically wear, but I actually bought this jacket because I don't know, I guess I was looking for something different in my closet, something a little bit more cool. I bought this last year when like varsity jackets were really in, so I just felt like it would be like a fun one to do. And But I actually haven't been able to shoot this jacket in any outfit because like I said, it's not something that I typically wear. And I also like how it does have white as well, so it kind of really pulls everything together. It pulls from the white of the shorts as well as the wide of the top. Another styling tip for biker shorts is that I do think they look really good with like cropped bralettes. So this is obviously a sports bra, but you could also pair it with just like a white crop bralette or any sort of crop bralette you have. I feel like it looks really cute with biker shorts if you do a crop bralette, the biker short, and then an oversized jacket or a blazer or a sporty jacket like this one. And then for my shoes, I obviously went with sneakers because this is more of a sporty look. I kept this simple, went with white leather sneakers that have this really cute pearl detail on it. And then for my bag, I decided to go with this white fanny pack. Fanny packs are all the rage this year. I love this one because you can wear it crossbody. It's a little bit more cool. It's also white, so it goes really well with the outfit. Also has a very like sporty vibe to it. And then I added a pair of brown sunglasses to finish the look. And then lastly, I also, of course, had to put my hair in a ponytail and I did this cute white scrunchies. Scrunchies are also back. I feel like the whole 70s and 80s vibe is back. These shorts, as I mentioned, are so 70s to me. So of course I had to bring back the scrunchie. So this is the last outfit. And for this look, I originally wanted to show you guys how to do biker shorts with a mini dress. But as I was looking through my closet, I realized that I don't really even have that many mini dresses because I don't 
typically like super short dresses, but now I might like them more because I have these biker shorts. But anyway, I did manage to find a two-piece set that kind of looks like a dress, but you can kind of envision if you have a mini dress, it would work as well. But this two-piece set works really well because this skirt is really, really super short. Um, so before this, it was actually really hard for me to wear this set without something under it. But now I think that the biker shorts are actually the perfect solution. So if you do have a dress, or a two-piece set or a skirt that you feel like might be a little bit too short, I would definitely consider getting a pair of cute biker shorts because it does actually add to it and also makes it more wearable as well. And this two-piece set especially goes well with these shorts because it is a pretty purple color. So it goes well with the yellow in the shorts. And then it also does have like the white stripes that also pick up on the white in the shorts as well. So even though they're two very different prints, for some reason they work together. And this two piece set is actually by a designer named Brett Adam. And what he does is he actually reconstructs everything from old men's shirts. So this was actually formerly a men's shirt that he then cropped and redesigned. So to my point earlier about Michael shorts going well with oversized men's shirts, it actually kind of applies in this case as well because this is made from an oversized men's shirt. And then for my shoes, I kept the black loafers because as I mentioned, they go with everything and I feel like they just add like a cool girl vibe to this look. And then for my handbag, I went with this vintage wicker handbag for more summery vibe. And then lastly, I decided to add a white pearl clip because why not since they're trending. And I feel like they do add a little bit more feminine touch to this look and they also pick up on the white and the shorts. And that is this last outfit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video on how to style biker shorts. If you were like me and felt like you couldn't wear biker shorts, I hope this video changed your mind and encouraged you to go out there and get a pair of biker shorts for summer. If you liked what you saw today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel here. Be sure to subscribe and you can also watch more style videos over here. And that is it for today and I will see you guys next time.